y'all it's monday so you know what that means it's time for another mom chat monday hey y'all i know i know i didn't do mom chat monday last week and i'm not gonna be playing with my hair this whole time so chill um but yeah i had a lot going on last week so we kind of missed it but we are here again it is monday and we are doing it mom chat monday what up as y'all know cheers welcome if you're new take a sip have a sip go get you some if you ain't got you none and let's get ready for this chat so today's topic is i might be playing with my hair this whole time oh well today's topic is breastfeeding so i know that black breastfeeding week is over as of i believe last week but that don't mean we can't still talk about it. It is still very important. And it's something that we need to talk about throughout the year and not just one week of the year. Okay? Okay. I was loving, la, 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 loving all the, like, black moms breastfeeding their babies, the pictures and stuff that I seen on social media last week. I was living, 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 gave me life. I really don't want to just narrow this this week's mom chat monday down to black moms breastfeeding but i feel like that i need to talk about that because not a lot of black moms breastfeed and if they do they're if the, and if they want to a lot of them are disc are discouraged by the older generation of black moms who are not for breastfeeding because i know a couple of older people who legit just are like Psh why would you breastfeed Shh, that's nasty Shh, uh no no thank you ain't no baby about to be sucking on these boobies i mean you know when they were younger they were not because as in their generation formula was the thing that was like the let's we have to give the baby formula we ain't breastfeeding no no thank you no ma'am no sir put this back because i look crazy um but yeah like people have told me like breastfeeding is nasty but how though we're mammals let's just get that out the way like us human beings we are mammals okay we are in the animal kingdom and we fall under the mammal category meaning we feed our we give live birth and we feed our children milk from us any and every mammal that you have ever seen in your life is going to give their child milk from their breasts, their udders, their uh, whatever else they want to call them, they provide the milk from their own bodies, okay? Let's just remember that. We're mammals. Our God-given breasts were not created for man's pleasure, okay? Okay, I mean, they have become something pleasurable. However, their initial purpose was to feed those babies, okay? And the white folks knew that too. That's why in the slave days, we were wet nurses. Mm -mm. And I believe that is also a part of the reason that a lot of black women choose not to breastfeed because it's, there's a stigma, not necessarily a stigma, but there's this hurt, this pain behind black women breastfeeding because we were not able to nurse our own children back in the slavery days. We were... We were nursing the, the, the master's children, you know? And so I feel like it's important for us to just get back into it and, you know, realize that breastfeeding is natural. Breastfeed, if there were no formula, okay? If there was no such thing as Similac, Infamil, and whatever else, Gerber, Good Start, all of that stuff, where would your baby get its milk from? you breastfeeding is natural you are a natural milk production factory okay girlfriend it is natural now it may be hard for some people and it thank goodness there is a such thing as Similac and uh Infamil good start and all that good stuff because some people some women don't um produce milk as well as others you know but I just, I just feel like I need to say that it is natural. It's natural, girl. It is your natural God-given right to breastfeed. Natural. We all on this natural hair movement. 
we all talking about the natural face, bare face, and being your natural you, right? So let's do what we were naturally put on this earth to do as parents, mothers, and I don't want to say other because I, I don't think non-mothers can breastfeed. I'm not sure if you can produce milk if you have not been pregnant. Not sure, but let's let's do what we were naturally born to do as as childbearing women, okay? Get to breastfeeding, folks. And and let me just say this real quick because although this is a, a a mom chat Monday about breastfeeding, I do not want to take away from the fact that choosing to formula feed your child if you do not want to breastfeed is absolutely fine as well. If you're not here for the breastfeeding, if you think it's too hard, if you think it's too, um, if you feel uncomfortable, if you don't want to take the time to, to, to learn, or if you, if the baby don't latch on properly or whatever the case may be, it is your child, your choice. If you choose to formula feed your baby right out the gate, just because you have no interest in breastfeeding, do you but i also i just want to promote breastfeeding in this uh in this video because i would like people to know once again that it is normal and it is natural so yes i'm not shaming um for people who choose to formula feed their children because i did and that leads me to my next point which is i'm just going to share my breastfeeding stories with y'all so my breastfeeding experiences rather um, 